welcome. My name is Lexi Chong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, then you probably know that one of my really good friends is Sean from Sean K Beauty here on YouTube. And Sean and I talk all the time. She is fantastic, not only as a person, but she also has a fantastic channel and she brings the science behind beauty. So she's looking at ingredients, why certain ingredients work together, which ingredients you should avoid, maybe why a particular formulation doesn't work for specific skin types and so forth. So she is very skincare oriented. However, she's also a huge Chanel lover. So she and I decided to team up for the new Chanel LeBlanc 2021 collection. Now, if you've seen photos of this collection, there are, I don't know, I have to say I was a little bit disappointed. Now, the LeBlanc collection in general, it has been around for over 20 years, and it's the number one selling Chanel collection in Asia. Asian makeup is typically going to be sheer and light and, you know, perfect for spring. And that's essentially what the Chanel LeBlanc collection brings. However, this year I just I wasn't really feeling too much of it. So I did pick up some items. We're gonna go through an unboxing on those right now. And then we also have a few special things. So we're gonna do a get ready with me and I have a very special announcement for a giveaway at the end of the video. So please be sure to tune in all the way through to the end so you can find out what it is and how to All right, it. so I wanted to share with you my Chanel unboxing. I didn't purchase a lot of items from the LeBlanc collection, but it's always fun to do an unboxing. So here it is. And I ordered from Jalissa at Brickle City Center in Florida. And here's the inside. And this is what's in here. Look at all of these. These are so pretty. All right, so let me go ahead and open each of these. So first up, we have the Stilo Ombre A Contour in number 40, Beige Pearl. And I was very excited to pick this one up because I personally love these Stilo Ombre Contours. And I really like the one that came out last year for the spring collection. And I have to say, I use it a lot. This is perfect. Okay. I'm very, very happy with this shade. So you can see it's like, it's a neutral brown, leans a little warm, but you've also got cool tones in there. There's a little bit of pearl in there and it is called beige pearl. So you've got a little bit of shimmer in there and it's just, it's a brownish taupe. So you've got a little bit of the grayish tones in there to call it a taupe, but it's still more of a brown than a taupe. It is really pretty. Next up, we have the Rouge Coco Flash in number 156, Delicatesse. And as soon as I saw this one, I knew I wouldn't be able to resist. So look at this shade here. It's got some shimmer in it. And that's one swipe. And then let's just build that up. You can see it's like this nice pinkish red shade for the summer. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. And the shimmer that's in there is red and silver. Now, when I say this is pinkish red, it's like a, a warm pinkish red. So it's definitely more neutral leaning warm then it is cool tone. I think it's really beautiful. And next up, I picked up one of the lipsticks. This is 496 10 dress. And this one is a rouge cocoa formula. Ooh, it's very pretty. So there's one swipe. There we go. Very, very pretty. So I cannot wait to try this on. So there is a little bit of a sheen to this one. You know, I don't really see sparkle per se, but the way it hits the light, it kind of looks like there is some. I don't see actual like pieces of glitter or anything. You can see that this one is gonna be a warmer tone. Um, 
it's a reddish rose. Then let's take a look at the samples that Jalissa included. So I have a sample of the La Volume Stretch de Chanel. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm curious to try this. And I'm so excited for this. A sample of 80 Timeless in the Rouge Allure Locks. I have been thinking of purchasing this shade, so a sample is perfect timing. And I, I was, ex yeah, you know, I didn't realize they did the little lock samples like this. How cute is this? A little mini instead of like one of those little bullet papers. Really excited about this. And then I also have two fragrance samples. So I have Gabrielle. This is the essence. And, you know, I have to say, I don't think I have ever smelled Gabrielle. <laughs> I know I'm really not, you know, a fragrance buff, so I'm not super knowledgeable about them. And then Coco Mademoiselle, which is always classic. So thank you so much, Jalissa. I will leave all of her information down below in the description box if you are interested in placing an order with her. She's fantastic. You can see that she was very generous with the samples. Everything was packaged very securely. And I am just so excited to try everything on. So you can see that I picked up just a few items from the Chanel LeBlanc collection. And Sean actually picked up a few different items. So I think we have one item in common, but everything else, she did pick up some different items. So if you're interested in seeing more of the items from this collection, please be sure to check out her video. Also check out her Get Ready With Me and her giveaway as well. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. So please let me know down below in the comments, you know, what you think of this video and this type of collaboration. I have, a lot of fun with these. So I would love to know what you guys think as well. So what we are going to do, we decided to pick one particular item and showcase its versatility. Now Chanel in general, one of my favorite products that they have are the Cielo Ombre Contours. I think they are a fantastic stick product. They are so creamy, they're easy to use, and they're just incredibly versatile. So I have shade 40, beige pearl. Sean picked up shade 38, the, I forget what it's called, burgundy pearl perhaps. And if you're unfamiliar with these, down here at the bottom, the very bottom portion here comes out. This is a sharpener, so you can keep your tip nice and, you know, in a, a nice pointed shape. So I think these are a fantastic product. And I think they are often, overlooked by people and they're really wonderful. So for the get ready with me, we're going to showcase this. And then I am going to also do some lip swatches of the lipsticks that I picked up as well. So that will be at the end as well. So let's go ahead and get started with application. On my skin, I have the Chanel LeBlanc Rosy Light Drops on my cheeks. And then on top of that, I have the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation. I have shade BR12. So I have those applied to my skin. I don't have anything else on. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the Stilo Ombre Contour. We're going to do a monochromatic look using this to showcase how versatile it is and how if, for example, we ever get to travel again, you know, this could really be something that you bring with you and you use this for like almost your entire makeup look. So I really think these are incredible. I'm gonna start off by applying this and smudging this along my lash line. And if you notice a lot of these item names, like this one and the 38 Stilo, they have pearl or perle at the end. And that's because the LeBlanc collection is essentially in honor of Chanel's pearls. So let me just smudge this a little bit. I'm gonna use the Sonia G Pencil Pro. I'm just gonna start softening this a little bit. I wanna see how easy this is to move. Okay, and then I'm gonna add more. So I'm going over what I have, and then I'm gonna add more to the rest of the lid here as well. I mean, look at that shade. Just using this on its own, it's so pretty. But back to Chanel's pearls, if you're not super familiar with Coco Chanel and some of the, I guess, tenets of her beauty philosophy, she was known for using pearls and layering lots and lots of them together, and they were not always real. She actually was known for mixing 
fake jewelry and real jewelry all the time and using pearls as embellishments not only as jewelry but like on her clothing and everything as well and again she mixed fake and real items all the time so she was really kind of the first person who made a lot of things like that accessible things like just wearing pants and so forth became more accessible because of her just accessible, probably not the right word for, for pants. They were accessible, but they were more acceptable in society. They weren't looked down upon as much once she sort of made them popular. All right, so there's that eye. I love this color. I think it's a beautiful shade. So in general, what Chanel loved about the pearls, by the way, pearls were once upon a time the most expensive jewel or gem, whatever you want to call it. Um, but basically, because they were so rare, so hard to get, that at one point in time, they were the most valuable jewelry item. They're obviously a lot more commonplace now than they were originally. But they're, to me, they're always going to be synonymous with Coco Chanel. And this... One of the things she really loved about pearls were their luminosity and their brightness and how they could really, you know, their re reflection and radiance so far is in the actual item kind of had this lit from within type of glow. And that's what she wanted to impart with the pearls. So the LeBlanc collection focuses on pearls and achieving that subtle lit from within kind of glow that is embodied by the pearl. So these Stilo Ombre Contours, again, they're super creamy, easy to work with. The This entire collection, by the way, is limited edition, but there are some of these Stilo Ombre Contours in the permanent line. There aren't as many as there should be, in my opinion. I really think that these products are underrated, but when you put them on, you have, I don't know, I try to give myself about 30 seconds to blend it out, but you have 30 to 45 seconds or so before it kind of sets down. But these will last all day on me for eyeshadow without any creasing or anything. And, you know, once they've set on there for a while, you're not gonna get much blendability, but they blend out so nicely when you first apply them. So that's gonna be it for the eyes. And then we're also gonna try this on the cheeks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a bunch of this on my hand and I'm taking the Refer 17 brush and I'm going to get that on here and I'm just gonna kind of stamp that in, buff it into my skin here. So again, this is like a pearl version. You can see the shimmer in here. So they, you know, I don't want tons of this. I want like a little soft hint of it. And this base shade is almost gonna be like more of a sun-kissed contouring shade. So I'm gonna blend mine up just a little bit. This is gonna be in place of blush and highlight for me today. You can see it really kind of gives this like more bronzed glowy look to the skin. So just applying more to my hand here, this side. Look at that. I mean, it really gives this like burnished look, which I think is really cool. So I don't know. I just think these are such a great product. All right. And then I have a little lip balm on, so I'm just taking my cloth. I'm going to wipe that off. And 
we're going to use this as lipstick essentially too, or a lip liner. So let me go ahead and apply this. And these are seriously so creamy and soft. So they're definitely softer than a regular lip liner. You know, they feel like one of those soft like eye pencils, like uh, not like the eyeliners, but like the eye crayons, like from Laura Mercier or the Sisley Sticks. So this is really not the color I would wear most often on my lips, but you know, it really does give a nice monochromatic effect like this. So I'm just gonna blot this a little bit. I'm just gonna dab some clear lip gloss on top. This is the By Terry Balm de Rose. Just gonna put a little of this on there. And there we go, that's essentially it. I'm gonna add some mascara. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Terracotta. This is the number 120 for the spring collection. All right, so this is the look up close. Totally monochromatic, really easy to just take with you. You can keep it in your bag for touch-ups. If you're traveling, you could really just bring one or two of these and have such a variety at your disposal. So this is the look from a distance. And again, I did want to accent the pearls that are represented by this Le Bon collection. And I have to say that, you know, I just, I think it's so fun and easy to use these stilos. Now, again, this probably is not a color I would typically wear on my lips. It's a little bit too brown for me, but it can be done. And it really does give this really nice monochromatic effect. Now, in terms of the Stilo, I absolutely love them. I have a few of them. I use them all the time. Most of the time I use them for more of a smoked out eyeliner, but I do also really enjoy using them for eyeshadow. They work great as an eyeshadow. Actually, I really like using these for eyeshadow and the liquid liners from Chanel as eyeshadow as well. So those are both products that I think really work well for eyeshadow and eyeliner. The Stilo waterproof eyeliners, the skinny ones, you know, those are a little bit too, too firm in my opinion, whereas these are so soft and creamy. So definitely wanted to recommend these, whether you choose a color like this or a different color. Again, they do have some permanent shades that are available as well. And if you haven't tried one, I would definitely recommend testing one out at some point. So now that we have seen how wonderfully versatile this Ombre Stilo and a Contour product is, let's go ahead and take a look at some lip swatches for the other two lipsticks that I picked up. I'm so incredibly excited to try them out. They look beautiful. We're gonna start off with the Rouge Coco Flash. This is number 156, Delicatesse. And again, every item in this collection is limited edition, including these lip products. So this, I just, I can't wait to use it. It's really pretty. It's a soft red. It's got some warmer undertones, yet it still is neutral. And you can see the sparkle in the lip product. So it's really pretty. If you like the Rouge Coco Flash formula, this is definitely a color that you may want to consider. Let me just put on another coat. So here it is slightly deeper. You're not really going to be able to get more color from it than this. Again, if you're not familiar with this formula, it's a very thin, a little bit more like an, a lip oil, like a, a solid lip oil type of formula. So if you don't like that texture, this is not one that you'll be a fan of, but it's just light and easy. You know, it's almost like a tinted lip balm, but it's a, a little bit more of an oily formula, if that makes sense. And next up we have the Rouge Coco Lipstick in 496 
10 dress. It's another beautiful shade. <laughs> I mean, you really can't go wrong, in my opinion, with Coco Chanel lipsticks. I love Chanel lipsticks. And this is just another beautiful shade. Let's just do a few swatch comparisons. So we're gonna start off with the Rouge Coco Flash in 156 Delicatesse. There we go. And this is the red that came out for the holidays, Coco Club. And you can see how much deeper and brighter that is. It's way more pigmented and it actually has a metallic look to it compared to this one. Now it's not a strong metallic on the looks, on the lips, but it definitely has that metallic vibe to it. Next we have 148 Lively. And you can see that this one's gonna be warmer. Again, a little bit more pigmented than Delicatesse. This one definitely has more pink in it. It's a little bit more neutral and it's going to be a softer in pigmentation. And last up, we have number 112, Eau de Rose. This came out last year with the LeBlanc collection. You can see that the difference in the pinks, we've definitely got more red here in Delicatesse. Whereas Eau de Rose is going to be a bit more of a, like a camellia pink, a, a carnation pink. And it does not, I mean, there's a tiny bit of sparkle, but it's not really evident. There's a little bit of silver shimmer. Whereas in this one, we've got some red and a little bit of silver in there, but the sparkle is much more evident in the new one. Now let's take a look at 496 Tendress. You can see that it's got a little bit of a peachy vibe to it, but it's going to be a rose shade. So it's like a medium rose with a little bit of peach in it. I don't really have a dupe for this. However, some that I thought you might be interested in, this is number 807, Rouge Delicia, which I believe was holiday maybe 2019. So you can see that it's gonna be a it has some similarities. This one doesn't have quite as much of a sheen to it as Rouge, de, um, sorry, as the Tendress does, but it's also going to be a little bit deeper here as well and less peach, a little bit more rose. This is one of the Camellia lipsticks that came out last year. This is 337 Camellia Rose. You can see that this one's going to be more of a bubblegum pink. And then this is from the spring collection this year. This is a Velvet Extreme lipstick. So different formula. This is 134 Eclosion. And they're really nothing alike, but I did want to compare them because, you know, I think online sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell how deep Eclosion really is. And you can see that there's going to be a big difference between the two of them. And just a few other lipsticks from some other brands. This is from Hermes. This is 18 Rose en Seine. And we're going to put this right up here so you can kind of see. So the Hermes is going to be a little bit deeper and has a little bit more brown mix in there. It's not as much of a pink. From Chantecaille, we have the Rose de May Lip Chic. And you can see texturally, these are gonna be thinner, more balm-like. And this one is gonna be a little bit more pink as well. There's a little bit more of this shade of pink, this more carnation pink. We have Lupine from Chantecaille Spring Collection last year. Again, that's gonna to be too pink as well. And Moabi, this is from Chantecaille's Permanent Collection. There to there, and you can see that this one is, here, I'll put it next to it. On this side too. But you can see that the tones are going to be off. The Chanel is more neutral and maybe a little bit warmer. 
whereas the Moabi is slightly cooler in tone in comparison. It's also a little bit more pink and a little bit less of that soft red that's kind of mixed into the Chanel. And then I just want to do a couple of quick comparisons with the Cielo Ombre A Contour. So this one here is number 40, Beige Perle. This is the one that came out last year. It might have also been the LeBlanc collection. I honestly don't remember, or spring last year. But this is number 34, Contour Brun. And this, you can see, is much deeper. And this is a matte shade. Now, I don't believe this is available on the Chanel website anymore, but it might be available at specific like store retailers. It is one that I use all the time for a liner. I also wanted to compare it to the Sisley. This is the Fido Twist for the eye, Fido Eye Twist. And this is shade number one. You can see the Sisley versus the Chanel. The Sisley is going to have more gold in it. It's going to be a little bit lighter. And we've got definitely more of this like taupey brown shade here for the Chanel. For the Guerlain Mad Eye Sticks, this is the lighter side of the stick right here. And you can see that there's a little bit more cocoa kind of mixed into there. The other side is a like a deep matte brown, so we're not going to look at that one. <laughs> And then this is the by Terry in number four, Bronze Moon. This is the, what are they called? They are called the, hmm, Ombre Black Stars. Okay, so there, this is that one. And you can see it's much more similar to the Guerlain than it is to the Chanel, which is going to be a little bit lighter. And again, it's going to have a little bit more of a golden tone in comparison to that one. So just one more look here. This is the Stilo Ombre Contour from this year's collection in Beige Perle. This is last year's in Contour Brun. This is the Sicily Eye Twist in number one. This one here is from the Guerlain Mad Eyes Pencil Warm Brown. And then up here at the top, we have the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon number four. I hope you have found this enjoyable, informative, and helpful in some way. And let's go ahead and discuss the giveaway. Now, the giveaway is going to be US only due to everything that is going on right now. And what I'm going to be giving away is one of the Stilo Ombre et Contours. So I <laughs> wonder how many of you guys guessed that throughout the video. I would love to know. But I am going to be giving away the Beige Perle from this collection. And Sean is also doing a giveaway on her channel for the shade that she used. So be sure to check hers out as well. Make sure you subscribe to her and enter her contest as well. So we're going to keep things simple. Now this giveaway is going to be done through Instagram. So if you haven't already started following me there, please make sure you do so. I am at Alexis Jong. All you have to do is look for my post on Instagram featuring the look that I created here today using this Stilo Ombre A Contour in number 40 Beige Perle. And there will be a question there on the post. And all you have to do is leave a comment. And that comment is going to be your favorite Chanel makeup item. So I would love to know what your favorite is, see if there are things that I'm missing. You know, I definitely know that I'm missing quite a few things that are cult favorites for many people from Chanel. So I would love to get an idea of what your particular favorite item is. Now, as I mentioned, this will be US only. This collection is actually going to be released on February 3rd, so on Wednesday. And today I was able to get this a little early and we were able to do this giveaway. And that is thanks to Jalissa at Brickell City Center in Miami, Florida. So I already have purchased this, it's on hold. She will be sending out a beautiful box with this stilo in it for the winner. But we are trying to get this all out on the day of the US release. So. There's only 48 hours for this giveaway. So right after this video, 
please be sure to go on Instagram, leave a comment, and the winner will be chosen at 9 a.m. on Wednesday, February 3rd. The winner will have 24 hours to contact me on Instagram. Everything will be done there through DMs. So you will have 24 hours to contact me and provide me with your shipping address so I can get that sent out to you. If the winner does not respond within 24 hours, we will draw a new winner. So the only rules, again, you need to follow me on Instagram and leave a comment with your favorite Chanel product under the post featuring the look that I created here with the Cielo Ombre Contour. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, be sure to check out Sean's video and subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. She is a wealth of information. And again, she is so talented with makeup in general, but you know, Chanel makeup is her first love. So she gets so giddy with Chanel makeup and it's adorable to see. So definitely check her out and see the look that she created using the Burgundy Perle Stila Ombre Contour. And again, if you are interested in placing an order, I have all of Jalissa's information down below in the description box. She is a true pleasure to work with. She's very knowledgeable. She knows basically any questions that I have, she knows the answers to. So she is great to work with and she sends out beautiful packages as you could see from my unboxing. So be sure if you are interested in purchasing any items from this collection or from Chanel in general, um, be sure to add her contact information to your list. The new Sublimage foundation that has not been available in the US yet should be releasing sometime soon. So I definitely have my eye on that as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you very soon.